Hello party people and welcome back for another video. As you know, each video I put out, I am just so happy to be able to provide you guys with some more content. And for this week's video, we're doing something a little bit different than the normal lifestyle content that I normally do. Today we are talking about me and my path on being an influencer and tips that I feel like have helped me grow. As you can see, we are almost at 200 subscribers and I've only been here for about a little bit under um, two years. So I'm just so grateful for this growth and expansion and I only wanna get better, not just here on YouTube, but also my other platforms as well that I hope you guys are following. Before I get into these tips and tricks that I've learned and that I want to pass on to you, please make sure you like, you subscribe, and hold all of those wonderful comments because I know you're going to have them until the very end because I know you're going to be enriched with all the information that I have for you today. So let's move on over to these tips, what you've all been waiting for. As far as tip number one goes for, and this is something that I am trying to open myself up more to as I am, you know, building and improving my platform, is collaborations. Now, I know, or maybe I think I know what you might have in mind. Oh, collaborations. You hear that and you're just like, oh man, I gotta reach out to people and do stuff with those people and then post it. I don't know, Nikki. Now listen, I, I too am not a big collaborator. Usually the people that I collab with are my own friends who also have YouTube channels or Instagrams or things like that. So it's a lot easier to be able to collab with that. And honestly, you can use that and that is also very good, um, that's very good experience to how you should maybe approach your future collaborations. I feel as though, and what I have noticed through my research is, once you find another person or you know maybe a group of people that align really well with your platform and basically your niche, then it should be a whole lot easier and I hope it's gonna be a whole lot easier to be able to collab and go back and forth on future content ideas because you're not just meeting up with someone just to pop out whatever video y'all pull out y'all asses. I'm not gonna advise you to just collab with any old body just to put out some content. You'll never hear from me. What I am advising you is to gain and build relationships that can not only better you as a person, as a content creator, but better your platform as well in the most, I believe, in the most organic way and natural way as possible because no one wants to follow someone where they feel like they're being fake or they're, you know, they're just only collabing to do X, Y, and Z, to swap followers or to try to gain fake momentum or anything like that. You want the people that you're collabing with um, whoever whoever's platform you're collabing with you want to show those people that hey I know why you like this person and I'm gonna show you why this person likes me and why you're gonna like me as well and this is why we're collabing this is why you should follow me and this is the type of motion you want to gain your platform to be on because you want to build a strong community you want to have a video and have collaborate and have content where people are going to want more and more and more now I still am a little fish in this big pond influencing world but what I can say is I am very thankful for the community that I have I've slowly grown this community and I feel very solidified in that because because I know y'all really rocking with me because of the type of content that I provide and the type of personality that I have and basically the entire environment of my platform that I want to kind of, you know, give off and, you know, give off the good vibes to everyone. And that's why I almost have 200 subscribers and I love y'all, each and every one of y'all. And I want more people to come across my platform and see the content that I'm coming out with and also want to gain. So you want to align yourself with someone that is really for you and not just something that is very inorganic and you know you're just doing it just to do it don't put out content that you don't like and that you just are forcing yourself to do because it's not gonna it's not going to give out the vibes you think it's gonna give and you know it's good vibes only super good vibes all the way the thing that i want to mention with collabs it is going to be very hard for you to find someone to collab with if 
you don't know what to look and who to look for and to see what people are doing. This is my suggestion to you. Now, I stumbled across this Facebook group about a year ago once I moved to this apartment. And unfortunately, I have been so chicken shit on collaborating with the girls in the group because I am just like so beside myself. I'm a little anxious. I'm hesitant. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. I feel like my platform and my YouTube channel is like my safe haven. So inviting someone who's not generally a part of that, like outside of my friends, it's a little nerve wracking. So trust me, I feel you on that note. But again, we are talking about growth. We're talking about uh, networking and, you know, we are talking about just growth in general. And sometimes you, you got to be uncomfortable to grow. So... I followed this uh, group on Facebook called the Sisters of LA, and it's a bunch of black and, and I believe Afro-Latinx women in LA, and they come from all walks of life. Some of them are content creators. Some of them are personal trainers, lawyers, photographers, just regular old nine to five girls who just want to have some friends, want to have some fun in a really cool environment. And I know what I'm telling you, it sounds like a great idea. Like, Nikki, why don't you, you know, collab with those girls? Again, I'm nervous. I am chicken shit. Yes, I have this very big personality, but this my youtube channel is my baby and i can't just let anybody in this motherfucker okay so i get it i you know i understand being apprehensive because i am as well but if i'm gonna put my best foot forward in growth in networking then i'm gonna have to step on the other side of fear and you know reach out to the girls introduce myself just let them know what i who i am what i'm about and try to let the you know relationships formulate through there organically collaborating and venturing out to these facebook groups of you know supposedly like-minded individual you might not like everybody that's in the group you know you are going to have to weed through people that you want to collab with or maybe you're thinking about collabing with um because not everybody's going to fit for you of course so i think it is some some hesitancy in that but i think it's also going to be very rewarding when you find that other person maybe that other two or three people that have similar uh platforms as you and that you want to collab with and you know grow together as friends as you know platforms as community and things like that so i do think it's a very good idea and if you have time to search on facebook because facebook is still very much usable Go and if you're go and search Sisters of LA if you're in the LA area, if you're in the Chicago area, if you're in Atlanta, see if there is a group of women, you know, like minded like yourself, who number one just wanna have friends, you know, they wanna network, they wanna do things together, some things you may not even heard of. But it definitely provides you a good opportunity to see who's out there, you know dig your feet in a little bit get settled with where you are and see you know it just provides opportunity for growth and we love growth over here okay huh you're gonna hold me to it because if you're subscribed to my instagram and if you're gonna be subscribed to my channel you will see i'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and i'll be reaching out to that group and not only just introducing myself but opening up myself for the opportunity for collabs and networking because i just i have high hopes i have high hopes for my platform and you know when you are building a community you should also have high hopes for your platform as well so my fingers are crossed we are stepping into this with good vibes, positive affirmations, because we are going, we going up. It's up and it's stuck for our platform, for us, and I just hope it's gonna be up and stuck for you as well. Second topic is something, again, new to me, but I feel like it's a very good tip for me to share. And I stumbled across it from um, a skincare influencer that I've been following for a couple of years now since I've been uh, in LA. Her name is Tierra Wallace. You may see her on Twitter. I'm going to put her page within this video, but she definitely gave me the great idea and gave a lot of other girls the great idea of emailing brands and their PR team uh, in order to not only collab, show your face, because a lot of us are just starting out there, but it's a good opportunity for us to, again, collab to network. And so for some of these brands to know that, hey, I might be on a smaller scale now, 
But if you keep me in the loop, like I'm trying to be kept in the loop, then I believe we can work together. And in this email in which she was like sharing, she was basically saying she was her insights, listing all of her social media, and then also just providing examples, like video examples of who you are and the things you do and post on your platform. So it can give these brands a very good idea of, hmm, I may want her, you know, working with us. Maybe I should send her some free product. Maybe she can review it, let her followers know. And again, you're just trying to open up that door of possibilities and opportunities. Um, and this was, I believe, just a great way to do that. So I will be putting my money where my mouth is. And this weekend, I'll take, I'll take the next 24 to 48 hours because I'm going to complete the Facebook thing that I just referenced. And I'm also going to be sending out quite a few emails. But I want these brands to know who I am. And yes, again, I am on a smaller scale. But we all got to start somewhere. And reaching out to these brands to show them your face is a great idea that I can't wait to take. And I hope it does really well for me because you guys have seen, I love my Get Ready With Me. I use a different variety of makeup brands ranging from high end to drugstore, more affordable prices. And overall, you know my platform is confidence within yourself and I want brands to see themselves in me when I present myself to them. So that is something that I think is a great idea. I implore you to do it because I'm going to be doing. And if you want to keep tabs on me, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be kind of documenting these things and journaling and journaling them because I want to see my progress. I want to put my best foot forward with trying to gain momentum and uh, you know bringing more awareness to my platform and the things that I like to do content-wise uh, because. That's the only way I'm going to grow. I'm really shooting for the stars here. And I truly believe these little tips, if I really like, if I really hit the ground running with these little tips, then I promise you, I feel like my, my channel and my platform is really going to grow by the end of the year. So if you want to start doing these tips and tricks with me, please comment down below. E DM me on Instagram so we can hold each other accountable because it's all about growth this year. 2023 is all about growth. It's our Jordan year. It's everybody's Jordan year. So we're going to do some very great things. And these tips are going to just do nothing but help us. So moving on to our third tip. Now, I feel like this next tip is almost self-explanatory. But I'm definitely going to say it anyway. Research. Good old research. Hitting that interweb and doing your Googles, baby. Okay? Now... I, of course, starting into this whole influencing thing, I, it was, it's so much information on becoming an influencer. It's like, you almost don't even know where to start. And it's very true. You don't really know where to start, but I want to, um, but something I want to think about is, I want you to think about is there, the whole online marketing and branding and things like that that has opened up a, a bigger field for a lot of people um and so if you go on instagram tiktok uh more so instagram tiktok even youtube and start researching not only if you can grow your your platform not only in a marketing way but also in a way to gather more ideas because you don't want to get stuck in a rut when it comes to creating content and you just don't want to put out any old thing so my thing so what i've done is i've taken to instagram and i have come across this page called social media by mj and honestly i almost swear by it when i go to social media by mj not only is it so beautifully and professionally curated like all of her tips are helping you as a brand grow now again not only am i trying to grow my youtube channel but i'm also trying to grow my other platforms as well on instagram on tiktok and it definitely helps to discover what really works for you what time posting work for you figuring out what's like if you want to do pictures style fonts are the trendiest the song options that are the trendiest uh trending audios 
uh, just so many good tips and tricks that I've learned just by following her. And I haven't even been following her a full year yet. I think I've been following her maybe six months, maybe less than six months. But I've gathered so many tips that I feel like have benefited me and my, especially my Instagram page so far. I've gained almost 150 Instagram followers in the past, I believe, in the past year. And some people are like, oh, well, that's not enough. Well, that's not really a lot. But for somebody who, you know, only only has a you know a, a 12 1300 followers uh, that that's a lot to me gaining 150 people because if 150 people walked up to me on the street and it was like oh girl I saw your reel or I saw your photo and I saw your YouTube channel I love that shit excuse me you saw me a little old me oh yes love it love it love it that's gonna make me feel good so what others may view as a small momentum, that's real big to me. And that should be very big for you because, because any amount of growth is good growth. Um, and so when I look for brand pages like social media with MJ, I'm not just following any old thing. I am actively scrolling through her posts, looking at the captions, taking notes, and trying to see what I can implement to my YouTube, my TikTok, and my Instagram pages that can help you know grow my channel help get good engagement because it's one thing to just gain a whole bunch of followers but like when you're building a community and a platform you want people to engage with you like I sponsor every single comment I get on my YouTube my Instagram and my TikTok because you want to build a relationship with these people that are you're following and that are following you because they we're gonna keep coming back to each other each and every time okay and we love to see it so follow or I would say research to see what type of brand or online influencing marketer works for you and to see if their tips really kind of regulate with you and try those tips out. Again, I've tried out several different tips from since following social media with MJ and I absolutely love it and it's definitely a good service to myself to try it out and to make sure I'm doing in that work because influencing is not an easy job and honestly I'm trying to do more than influence people. I'm really trying to inspire people and that's not an easy cut out job to do. And so it's going to take a lot of footwork, a lot of research, a lot of stepping outside the box to make sure that your platform goes above and beyond you have think you have even imagined. Like I can't wait to look back at the end of 2023 and be like, damn, Nikki, you really did step one, two, three, four, and five. You not only put your best foot forward, you did everything you said you was going to do and you didn't let fear hold you back because stepping out into being an influencer and wanting to inspire people is not for the faint of heart. You know, I want to be influenced by people they can trust. And I want people who follow me to trust me and my platform and trust my opinions. And I don't never want to see you wrong, okay? And so I think that is just so vital when it comes to building yourself up and building up your platform. Now, when I say that influencing is not an easy job, I meant that because you are your own team, especially when you're small and you're starting out all by yourself. You are your own editor. You are your own makeup, hair, set design. You're your own every single thing you can think of. You're doing it on your own and you can only you can only dream for the day. You can actually get maybe one or two people to help you out with planning and putting these projects and these contents in motion. But before we can do all that, we have to, you know, get it out the mud ourselves. And so that's what I do. Every time you see a photo on my Instagram, like the photo with this sweater, I am scouting my own locations. I am looking around. I am Google. I love Google Maps. Little do you know, Google Maps has a lot of things that has helped me kind of up my game as far as putting my pictures um, up, as far as uploading content on Instagram, my reels, and just my pictures in general. Finding good areas to take pictures at. Not only that, but finding areas that align with the type of pictures I want to create. Yes, you guys have seen that I... I don't just dress one type of way. I don't have one specific type of style. So not all of my photos are going to look very cookie cutter. Sometimes I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to do a classic chic black and white. And sometimes I'm gonna do, I want to do something colorful. So I want to find things around the city 
that I can go to easily, that's not super crowded, that I can get my content off in the best way. So it's like a in and out type of thing. And the more I research these types of things, the better my content days are gonna go. So what I do sometimes is I'll spend like maybe an hour on Google Maps or on any of my social medias to research where can I take some content photos at or what can I do next that I can try and maybe that my other followers may be interested in. It may be a story time, it may be a new venue, it just may be a new park that you find yourself you wanna get away to. Anything like that takes time and dedication to find. Um, and But now, but also, you know, sometimes you might be driving around your city and come up on a place that you never even think, you never even thought to take pictures of you or you have never even seen before. You're like, hmm, this would be a good area to take photos in. It'd be a good area to record in. It could just be a good area to collab in. And so again, all of those things take research. It's the due diligence within yourself to make those type of things happen. But the little hard, the hard work that I've done trying to find these locations and do these type of things are only going, are only going to benefit me more in the future. So I'm definitely, I'm not telling you something that I wouldn't do. Tip number four, finding your niche. Why are you creating content? Please ask yourself that before you start just putting out any old thing. Why are you doing the things you are doing? Why are you posting your pictures? Who are you trying to reach out? What are you trying to say through your brand? Because you yourself, you are in a complete brand. You are a business right here, right now, before the takeoff even happens. This is a business. Your brand is a business. Your social medias are a part of you and your business. You're trying to say, who are you trying to reach out to? Again, this is probably something that you may want to do before you want to do steps one, two, and three. But again, if you're still trying to figure it out, you know, it's going to come to you. Sometimes you'll figure out one before you figure out four. Sometimes you'll figure out five before you figure out two. It is all trial and error. But I think the best thing for you is to kind of narrow down the audience that you want to reach. Of course, you you. Of course, you aspire to please everyone. You want everyone to like you, but honestly, that's not gonna happen in in this world we're living in. But the most you can do is just. I feel like the best piece of advice when trying to find your niche is do something that expresses your authentic self and not just something you think you should do. Do something and put out something that you are really proud of. And I can say this for a fact, every single photo, every single video I put out on YouTube, every reel I put out, every TikTok I put out, I am damn happy with. And it doesn't matter if I only get a few hundred views or I get maybe 60, 70 likes. Like, again, if those 60, 70 people walked up, up to me and said, oh, Nick, I really like that photo. I'm gonna be feeling myself very hard. I don't know about you, but you gonna have to talk to me nicely. 60 people walk up to me and tell me they like my platform. You couldn't tell me nothing. So I, it's gonna take, and I feel like that takes a little bit of like self-reflection when it comes to finding your niche. Because honestly, when I started my platform, I just wanted to show motherfuckers that I be dressing, okay? I just wanted to show people that I can dress. I wanted to show people that, you know, to love yourself, that if you look good, you feel good. And the more I kept diving into those little things, the more I started to really set a foundation of who Nikki B is and what are you, what are you trying to promote? What are you trying to influence or how are you trying to inspire folks? And as my platform has grown and the things in my life has also affected me, like it really has instilled in me like, yeah, you really trying to do something greater than pushing people to, to buy this or pushing people to dress like this or pushing people to do X, Y, and Z. And I am trying to push the idea that loving yourself is very hard and it takes work every single fucking day. Even if you don't want to do it, it takes it takes even more work when you don't want to do it. And that is what I'm trying to inspire people to do. That is what my entire platform is about. Is about. And that is what I want to make sure it reaches not only from LA, but to Chicago, to Atlanta, to Detroit, to India, to the United Kingdom, to Australia. Like I want people around the world 
to really feel what I'm putting out in my content. And more self-reflection I do, the better I can hone in on what I'm trying to put out in this world and what I want people to see of me. Like, I want them to see the best parts of Nikki and honestly, the worst parts of me too because all of that in itself is still kind of the best parts of me, you know? Because I am trying to portray, like, I am trying to provide you guys the most realistic, realistic view of loving yourself, like, and I mean, when the things get very tough and be, not only when things are good and bad, no matter when things are, you can say superficial or really deep, like I want to show you guys the beauty of me and maybe to awaken the beauty in you and in, in its entirety. And that comes with the good and the bad. And I want everybody to see that. Everybody might not like it, but I want them to see it nonetheless. And so that's what I've had to do to figure out what's my niche. Like, what am I trying to do? And I think that bit of self-reflection is going to do wonders for you when it comes to creating your platform. Because again, anybody can influence you to do and buy whatever. You want, to create, you want to create an authentic community and a platform that is going to elevate you as a person. And I want to also elevate others as they're elevating me. So finding your niche is very important because it's who you are to a core. And you want to make sure that core is very solid. <sighs> okay, so last but certainly not least, I think my most helpful tip other than number four because i feel like number four is actually very helpful as well but i think my most helpful tip out of these tips of me trying to elevate my platform on my journey as an influencer is to create for yourself and yourself only now i know we just did a whole lot of talking about building a platform and building a community and doing xyz and so i know you're thinking well girl how am i supposed to just only post for myself if i'm trying to grow just that and i know that sounds hella crazy but i really think it's the best and i've seen this time and time again unfortunately not everybody in their platform is going to take off overnight we know we love seeing viral content and viral moments and how people gain 500 300 a million followers overnight um and that's all great everybody aspires to that hell i still aspire to that but you don't want to get too caught up in comparing yourself to those instant overnight successes because when you look at some of your favorite influencers or your favorite youtubers you will see time and time again they will tell you look i was posting or i only had 200 followers i only had 100 followers. i had 50 followers and i just kept posting because somebody's gonna look at it i feel like i start to get down on myself with my content and i think i start to get too number focused or insight focused um i always have to remind myself like nikki you are doing this for you at the end of the day like you are trying to you know not only promote something to yourself but you just you are clearly promoting yourself and in promoting yourself you're going to have to promote yourself every single day whether you have a hundred thousand views or you have 32 views post keep posting and i know it's like maybe that's easier said than done because you get a fatigue a, a kind of a wear out on posting and your work is not being appreciated you gotta appreciate that work yourself appreciate your work so much that it doesn't matter that you only get 32 views it doesn't matter that you know it's going a little bit slow your post isn't taking off like it's supposed to i am happy with every single thing i post whether my video gets 35 views or 350 views i have that much satisfaction with everything i post that I feel good no matter what it's looking like. No matter what them insights is looking like, whether they're skyrocketing or they bottom of the barrel, I'm very happy because 
I put out things that are very authentic and true to me and I put out quality work. I put in a whole lot of time and effort into every one of my videos so I know I'm just not putting out things for the masses to see what can go viral the quickest. I'm putting out things that I hope resonate to a lot of people that they keep going back to where they're like dang I really like her and what she's doing and that is, of course, in a sense, for other people. I'm talking to you and recording this, I don't know how well it's gonna do. I never know how well my videos are gonna do. But I know that the information that I try to put out and the vibes that I try to put out are unbeatable. Unmatched, okay, if I do say so myself. So I always feel good. I'm very satisfied with whatever I put out. I'm hella satisfied with this video and I ain't even finished it. So it is just that moment i guess not moment but it is within you to make sure you're putting out good work for yourself and if you putting out good work for yourself others are going to see it too and it's just going to create a gravitational pool and also i feel like that is going to help your platform grow so now that i have run my mouth off long enough and again i hope you guys enjoy it this whole journey with me being an influencer, being a plus size influencer, is going to be a journey, okay? I cannot wait to see where I'm at a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. And honestly, truly, I am really doing this YouTube and building up my platform for high school senior year Nikki, who thought about it then, 10 years ago, and kind of talk herself out of it so this is for high school nikki my platform is for high school nikki living out her dreams her youtube career her influencing path before influencing was even a thing like this is for her and i hope a part of this is for you too so please let me know what you think about it do you have any tips and tricks for other inspiring youtubers um let me know what you think at the in the comments below i would love to hear from you as long as you keep it cute We'll put it on mute. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy. I enjoy putting it out. I hope you enjoy watching it. Please stay tuned because we got a whole lot more coming at you.